Uh, hello, my name is Federico Stoll. I'm a visual storyteller and community organizer from Uruguay, and uh, I like to develop social project, but with a high content of contemporary photography style and aesthetics. So I will share now my last project, The Shine Heroes of La Paz, Bolivia. Um, we uh, work in this uh, of Bolivia, but first of all, I these are, are, are all my projects that I do. I always like to, to mix. Uh, first of all, I started as a documentary photographer, and suddenly I started to, to use the fiction for myself. Um, I like to, um, I think that all the, the viewers now are so engaged with different contents that the first, uh, the first and more important thing is to, to have the attention of the viewer. So um, for me, fiction or doing a, a new narrative, collaborative narrative with the people is so important. And also my social practice is involved with Paulo Freire, Brazilian, uh, um, very important uh, edu educational process uh, that is um, the pedagogía del oprimido or the oppressed pedagogy, uh, teología de la liberación, liberation theology. That is, this guy uh, is very, very important because try to to connect the people and how the the first of all the the process of asking to the people the process of build the the solution of a problem together so now in Uruguay I work doing this uh, a lot of social organizer the photography take me to this side but I do this kind of things in rural areas that uh, involve photography sometimes and other times we for, for example in this picture we invent the flag of the town and we with the neighbors decide which, which which will be the flag of this town so this kind of process in social practices i use photography for example uh, this is uh, talking about the roots of the town or talking about the origin of the town making paintings so I'm, I'm, I'm a lot of used to uh, work with the opinion of the people and build something together. So I have the idea of um, mix uh, in my last project um, something of uh, Paulo Freire, but also Shaw Ripper, that is a, a photographer Brazilian also that uh, creates um, an agency of the photographers from La Favela because the, the people from La Favela was tied to uh, all the, the newspapers, show the favela as dangerous people, people who are in drugs, but the, the people from La Favela say, okay, we want to, sh to show our, our production and our aesthetics that we want. So show Ripper make a school in the favela and the people take this kind of pictures, more, so, more sweet, and more uh, uh, how the people have editing control of the images that came out to the newspapers or to the other. Robert Salzman in USA, uh, I like this guy because uh, make a participatory project, collaborative project, mixing a portrait of the photographer, but also a white canvas. These people work, are in the prison, so uh, the the prisoner uh, make drawings, make uh, poetry, make other kind of things in the same canvas that is uh, the the photograph the, the portrait is in the canvas, and the prisoner uh, complete the artwork with um, drawings, and when the this prisoner came out. Uh, Roberts make an action or sell the the artwork and the money go to the prisoner. So it's this kind of things of using the artwork to make 
the, a better life for one person or one neighborhood. And li I like this kind of things. JR, you know, is very well known in all the world. But these kind of things that make big installations in the, in the, in the streets and also involved in social practices. And for example, in Kenya, uh, these portraits make the, uh, um, a wet proof of the roof of these shelters in Kenya. So the art also is using uh, a way of uh, making a better housing for these people. So I, I like this kind of, and for example, Big Muniz in Brazil also make a, um, these pictures with the garbage of the Rio de, de Janeiro and all the people who are uh, in the in the dump or in the in the place where the, where the garbage is, um, all the profits of selling these artworks are going to the people from the dump or this group of, of people. So uh, my point is how to connect uh, art photography, contemporary practices with social issues, social problems and how to um, have an ethic because sometimes the, the artist is the, the people uh, maybe how the, the, the benefits uh, remains on the artist and not in the people involved. So how to make a mechanism to uh, have a really balance, uh, um, I know, balance uh, of situation who uh, the art world help the artists but also help the, the the people involved so it's a reflection that they want to to do for example Jean Hoek from Netherlands these moto taxis are from from the, the the border of Kenya and Tanzania and this guy only make the costumes uh, for the moto taxi the photographer only uh, build with a local uh, uh, a local um, fashion designer, the outfit for the moto taxi. And now these moto taxis are so famous that don't stop to work. So the, the social, the, the art practice make better the life of this, I know, 10 moto taxis in the, in the border of Tanzania and Kenya. So how, how we build this kind of strategies to uh, have a, a, a project that help uh, the people, uh, make a good uh, innovation in contemporary photography. So with this all this background, I start Héroes del Bricio, that is a, a situation in Bolivia. If you go to the street of Bolivia in La Paz, the, you have these shoe shiners, sometimes are childs. Uh, they must cover the face because it's a, being a shoe shiner is a very, uh, the lost, the, the worst shop of all Bolivia. They, they, the people discriminate a lot. Maybe if your, I know, your, your daughter is going out with a shoe shiner, come your father and say, okay, you can go out with this shoe shiner because it's, it's normal people, but in the imaginary of the Bolivian citizens or the, the La Paz citizens, these people are related with bad things. All the karma, the bad karma is going to these guys. So um, if I do a documentary style, a typical press newspaper, uh, one week taking pictures, it's impossible to have a new uh, imagine, imaginary of, uh, of this shiner because the baklava, the mask is so strong. They use, they are related with, I know, uh, the people think they are terrorists, the people think they are bad persons, so how we can change the perception of the people and also these kind of things uh, that in the researching, I was doing a fourth year project. This uh, the, the first year I get into the problem taking the picture because it was so impossible that I, I have a new way of seeing of showing these people more uh, sweet or more uh, like normal people. So uh, in the first month of, of, of project, I found uh, this, this uh, shoe shiner newspaper that the shoe shiner sale in the streets. 
I think in UK you have a lot of uh, like a newspaper for homeless people and the homeless sell in the street and get an income. So this Hormigón Armado newspaper work with the shoe shiner. So I I see how to uh, collaborate collaborate with this newspaper because the newspaper have 15 years long and all the sales go to the shoe shiner. So I starting doing a, a participatory project for four years, working uh, as, a, as an, I consider myself as a medium, not an, an artist. I'm the artist, you are the normal people. No, we are all the, the, in, the, in the decision of the project. And this uh, was a past cover of one of the newspaper and was like a very bad Photoshop uh, and they put it uh, like a Superman. So for this cover, uh, like the first month I was taking pictures, but uh, I couldn't solve the problem. But suddenly in one meeting with the two shiners, this, uh, this solution came up and say, okay, the, 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 the hero, the superhero, have a mask, have a hidden identity. So we have the parallels of the shoe shiners. It's in Spanish now, but I will talk it in English. But I, I make the similar aspects of the shoe shiners and the superhero. They hide, they use a mask to hide the identity. They hide the, the shops and um, have a double life because some people uh, say to the mother, no, I go to work in the downtown, but they are shoe shiners. So, they, they hide the, the regular shop and say they are working another thing. They have uh, common enemies like the police, like the um, another shoe shiners who try to invade in the territory. Uh, they have a special tool like a, a box, boxing, uh, like cream, like a brush, like a box. Uh, they have a shelter, a common shelter that they came, they go to the to work and uh, first stop in a in like it's like a house and they have a bag with a number and they change, they put a baklava, they put the, the mask, they take the cream and when they came from working they wash their hands because they are dirty hands and came up, came back to the home as a normal citizen. So uh, they have this double life, the, the, the common, like a bat cave, you know, the shelter, the, all, all the shushainas get together and also have uh, lunch, for example. And also make a good thing for the society because in Bolivia, if you don't have the shoes very polished, you can sometimes the, in the public offices, they say, okay, you can came out, came in because you are dirty or uh, in the school, they say, oh, you came from the, the you're a farmer, you are with the, the, the shoes dirty. So it's make a good uh, things with the society. And also the shoe shiners, we make a, a series of workshops and the, the workshops, uh, I will show always the shoe shiners want this kind of crazy architecture from Bolivia that in the photography <clears throat> world, a lot of projects are of this uh, structure, but in this project we use it as background because this crazy architecture from Bolivia, from El Alto, is the perfect background for, uh, I know, a fantastic city that we call Brisolandia or we call Shine Land, for example. And we start to work with the, 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 the group of shoe shiners, woman, man, child, all people. We do first storyboards. We want, we want how is the story we want to build? How will be the superpower we want to, uh, to have? How will be the, the, the city? We, I work uh, with the, some cartoonists from Bolivia, also the shoe shiners, myself, and we decide in this storyboard all the situations, for example, this teletransportation. And I think when you open the process, the people 
uh, can put mm -hmm. things from the normal side of the of the of the citizen and not use the typical resources from the contemporary photography. For example, they say me, I'm the photographer, and they say me, I, we want uh, laser rays, we want uh, teletransportation, and uh, as uh, I finally I, I end like a production uh, guy who try to solve the problems that they say me we want this we want that so uh, the ego of the artist go down when you open the process and I think it's, the, it's a good way because sometimes uh, some photo try to to conduct to try to make influence in the process and finally shoot, shoot the, the picture that they want, not the, the people who are involved. So we must have a lot of ethics in these things. And sometimes there are aspects that I don't like, but I, I have to put it in the narrative because the collective say, no, we want this, we want this. So there is a lot of negotiation. These are some of the storyboards and pictures of the series. They want love. So you, you see the storyboard and then the final uh, results of the of the shooting. We do these things very low budget with a minibus. Uh, I work with this newspaper that also have a cookie factory and also um, do. Uh, so they say me, I we pay we pay you the minibus and we all the pictures that you ha you take in the process we will use it in the in this newspaper and also in all the newspapers that we are doing all the month all the months they print 6000 newspaper for the shoe shiner to sell it's like 100 newspaper for each person of this group of shoe shiners but in la paz bolivia we have 3000 shoe shiners so there's a lot of people doing these things we get into this kind of uh, Cholets of new architecture from the El Alto is the perfect background. We play a lot. We use um, mirrors. We use the flashes inside the jacket with uh, remote triggering to try to simulate the, the power. So very low budget and the people, we only shoot Saturdays because on from Monday to Friday they, they work. So we only use Saturdays. So the, the, the process to be an actor, to be a producer, to be a photographer, uh, for them was also very, very nice because they, they take your head to another uh, day. When you live in the, daily, you, in the daily life and you need to get money to eat, you know, having this kind of experience sometimes because uh, I, I'm a, a producer of the of the of the shooting, and also I I, I use uh, we have like water, we have food. It was like a typical advertisement shooting. Uh, we, uh, we have lunch in the middle, and we share. So this Saturday for them was like fun, like holidays, and take your mind outside the problem of every day, getting the money. And also you get a production. This is are the whole series. Uh, we use also um, cartoons from from a flea market to put as backgrounds. We use the the Shushanians ones like we want this kind of a Street Fighter, Dragon Ball, uh, this kind of cartoons that they are get used to. And I'm the photographer and say, okay, let's do it, let's do it, because we are like a, a family of production family, and all the pieces of the artwork are uh, uh, planned with all the collective. We use this crazy background from Bolivia, uh, a lot of uh, muralism from Bolivia. The, the shine is a key aspect of the of the of the project because the shine is light and is against the dark uh, hands or the 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 cream black cream that is associated. We never show them uh, doing the the typical cleaning in the in the shoes because they are down and it's uh, very very I know the people 
uh, relate with submission and they are superhero. We don't want to have this, this submission in the pictures. It's a project that uh, the, the main goal was to make a photo book inside the newspaper of these guys. So we make a, a, a photo book and these people sell the photo book. The, and also the book was very well sold by the Shoe Shiners, but also was fi finalist in the Paris Photo Aperture Award. So you can mix doing a thing for the street in Bolivia and get a recognition in the art world. So let's do, do these kind of things. And the key aspect is when you work with social e problems, try to develop a, a narrative, an aesthetical thing that uh, show them as uh, different than the typical newspaper aesthetics or the typical NGO aesthetic that is the happiness. You know, uh, the typical NGO photography uh, is too sweet that don't like because it's not real. So I try the fiction, the fantasy to engage the people and then try the, to talk about this, the, the story and if they are want to collaborate also. But the people have a, a, a newspaper of good quality, we call the photo book, because uh, also the photo book was for the art world. Uh, the publishing house pay the color and the shoe shiners pay the printing. So we mix together and the profits go all to the shoe shiners. This was a super production because it's the first time that the, the citizen from La Paz recognized the shoe shiners and take it in the, in the shoulders and they are our heroes. Uh, it's a, a scene that is impossible to have it in the normal life, but it's a, a, a recognition to the, the, the work of cleaning shoe that is very important for the people. No? So, um, it's like a reflection. This is the last picture, the, the liberation, like Bruce Wayne came into the back to the to the to home and say to to Alfred, uh, "Oh, I'm okay. I saved the city." So this is the shoe shiner uh, coming back home, and all the pictures of this series and all the all the the pictures without editing go to the to the disorganization and for the project, for this photography project, um, they do also tours of shoe shiners. So because they are they superhero and sometimes dress as superhero. So I work with these 60 shoe shiners, but they are 3000. So if you want, we want to change the reality or the, the act of discrimination, we must work at the, at the, the level of the city. But this was a, a experience to show the, that it's good to process. This is the photo book that uh, is the same format of the newspaper, the same material, but is in color because uh, we want color and uh, they sell it in the street. You, this is the normal newspaper and one of the pictures that uh, is in the cover. Also, this, the third year, I came to Bolivia and they said, me, Federico, we print postcards because we want to sell postcards. And now uh, this group of shoe shiners are living from the postcards uh, more than shoes that like they polish in the shoes. So the, they make a special, uh, uh, they make like relative famous in this city because of all the project and the, the tourists in La Paz. Uh, by the postcard. Each postcard is like for uh, shining, sh polishing, like is, is this equal to polishing for shoes. So this guy need to leave maybe polishing, I know, 12 shoes, 15 shoes per day. So if they sell, I know, five postcards, they come come back home and that's all. You know, they live from their own character that we build in the in the project. So it's well this year in the 2000 they have a calendar, uh, like a, a 
and a schedule to, to sell also with the pictures. But the main goal was to build this, this photo book that is the, the paper from Chile edition and design from Uruguay, the narrative and the printing in Bolivia. So it's like a typical Latin American photo book, but we say it's a collaboration with a newspaper from the Shoe Shiners and also an Uruguayan publishing house that um, collaborates with the color. So this is the Shoe Shiners explaining, oh people, why are you discriminating? Why the discrimination for me? I am a good person and also I'm a hero. So when they sell the, the newspaper, you, they have a, 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 a dialogue. I know to patient and to say, okay, I'm, I'm a regular person, I'm a regular job. And the, 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 this is the, the exhibition in the same place that the shoe shiners work, for example. Always these, these exhibitions once the street, uh, but also was the exhibition in different places. The shoe shiners was singing the autograph in the, of the photo books. So the artist uh, is in the second plane. Uh, the first is the, the shoe shiners, and also exhibitions around the world. I think the the the, the projects uh, engage with the people in all the world because this kind of uh, doing a high concept uh, document uh, contemporary practice and also have a social uh, impact with the people involved. So these kind of things, different uh, exhibitions around the world. Um, this is what was in a prison also. Uh, Korea, Spain, different parts. So I like to to say that all the the money that, for example, uh, if I get an award for this this exhibition was in Portugal for uh, a prize an award, and we share the profits also. And with this, uh, so the 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 money that came to the shoe shiners is from the direct selling of the photo book or the products of the project, but also half of the, the income that the photographer of the artist have in the photo world. For example, uh, this award in of, of 5,000 euros in Portugal, half go to the shoe shiners and they print the more, more, more books to sell in the streets. So I like to, to talk about these things because sometimes the photographer do a, a very nice project in, a, for example, in, in a town in Africa, and but all the, the 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 profits from the circulation, from magazine, from all the things remain in the photographer, not in the community. So let's talk about these kind of things. They have a let's have an ethical view of this kind of thing, and I I I making a, a test. And I think uh, all the people uh, like this idea of we have a contract that is a it's not a contract, but all the all the profits if I sell it to an art gallery from all the life of the project from here to I know 50 years more or 100 years more, all the profits we share, you know, because we are a, 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 a production uh, agreement that all the, the income. So I like to talk about this, Cosmos are less PDF award, uh, magazines in China, Photo Aperture Foundation. This is some exhibition here in Uruguay. Um, we use mirrors to reflect the, the shoes of the people because some, some people told that the, the shoes are like, a, you can know a person if you see the shoes because talk about the person. So uh, we, I like to, to explore this. And these are like a, a, a manifesto of social uh, direct action in communities. And I like to translate it. We are all authors and producers of the project in, in a way of collaborate the, the goals. Uh, involved as a creator, as a contemporary photographer, in NGO 
fighting or uh, union or social organization of civil rights uh, in a neighborhood to work and try to solve the problem of discrimination of the something with a high art uh, key you know it's very important to don't lose the art uh, aesthetic to uh, have a long life of the project put the photography in a in a social um, wave but uh, we we need the art uh, world so we 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 can talk about the the social issues but we want to get in the art world because we need the art world to have more or income to the to the people involved in the project so i don't say the photo world or the, or the art gallery is bad i say okay but we, if we work with people let's share the profits let's share the editing let's share all the process involved in the in doing the project the editing and the distribution must have control i i ask to the shushiners okay we can uh, uh, send to this award for example to paris photo award the shushiners took me we want the this the price to make more books federico what's happened with the with paris photo award what's happened no we 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 get selected but we don't get the award okay but so the spec the expectations are from the artists and from the people involved at the same level so this is very nice because sometimes the photographer is so alone and so uh, outside the the the, view, the the i know the engage only for doing the project but after the project nothing so we must have this ethical view of have a long uh, life con contract with to to the to the people involved when we work in social causes or social issues not if you are doing a project of other kind it's not a, a mandatory to do that but if you work with discrimination acts people would have problems a flooding aspect okay um, we, we 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 can use the art world and engage and make a mechanism of collaboration and um, also funding for the social cause i like to to share this and and share the profits and talk about these kind of things that sometimes is hidden in the photo land so i like to put it in the in the in this conversation and artist talk and um, finally uh, because i have a lot of experience in social practices the photo project must have must improve something in the in the in the in the group that is involved if the photo sometimes the photo project um, i know they share it in the newspaper and they put a, a i know a, a title or oh, uh, bad people of each neighborhood and get this 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 thing of trying to do something to help becomes against the process and the people involved so we must have a, a lot, again an ethical view of when we publish where we publish this project and how will be the circulation and also have a clear uh, administration of all the, all the profits and all the the things that are involved finally this is a, one of the, my favorite pictures of the project the shoe shiners that I know that I, I'm in touch regularly and um, I know be an artist but also uh, an artist who collaborate in uh, in all the aspects of uh, of uh, becoming a better life for a, for a group of 60 shoe shiners or or maybe try to do it uh, is a uh, is 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 better uh, that maybe only worried about my my career as an artist or or my ego as an artist so uh, i try to when you work with social uh, issues or social problems we must be open to be like a more man, more than a 
than a, a protagonist artist or via a, a medium or via articulate all the energy to make a solution that can can fit in the in a in a long live uh, process and also have an impact in the in the community. So this is my contact, my website, and Natalia, if you have uh, any question, I'm open to, to, to you, and a place, it's a pleasure to, to share this project in format. Yeah, no, absolutely. Thank you very much for that wonderful presentation. It's, it's just fantastic to hear about your insights and, and just hear more about the project. I found really interesting that uh, you start by explaining your inspirations and where uh, everything is coming from for you. Uh, I do have a question about um, why did you choose Bolivia? Why, why are you interested in, in this discriminatory um, aspect that is really present in, in Bolivia? I'm just curious about that, that aspect. I, uh, um, uh, when I, when I get, uh, get in love of uh, uh, a story to tell, uh, I I have a, like a I know some revelation from and uh, I feel it in my skin. In at the same time that I know something, I, okay, this is a project of let's do. It. I don't want uh, could be in Uruguay, my country, or could be in the Americas region. In uh, my my last uh, my, my my project before the Shine Heroes was in Cayman Island to talk about tax havens. We mix the, it's a project about, I know, mixing the, the tax haven industry with the Pirate Week Festival and the pirates who hide the treasures, the metaphor. So I like to, what's, what's documentary, but the people have the, perce the perception of fiction that I, I made this picture. So I, I get in love and in Bolivia, my, my brother-in-law uh, told me that this these shoe shiners hide the identity to work because it's our the world's job and i i say okay this this the, the identity the mask protect them but also make the discrimination act so they they have they in a in a in a close road and how to we can develop something to uh to have a new visibility of the problem or so uh, when i start to research they, they there is this newspaper and i talk with the newspaper from uh, and they say okay you can come and help working in the i help doing you know uh, you know uh, making the lunch for the shoe shiners and also uh, having the trust building the trust and then on Saturdays we shoot. But I think was a, um, I, I feel this kind of project that can uh, be innovative in some way. And in the process, in the process making me, uh, I know, uh, this, this, this way, this path that I, I, I discover a way of working that I will do it in my next project. Uh, and also, uh, I I try to do something that remains uh, an an asset or something to uh, get an income to the group or something like that. I like to I don't know, maybe print T-shirts and they, they 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 sell it, but I don't know I'm very in this is small production because sometimes the people want to change the world of environmental thing i do a project but you do the project but then this community needs something to i know to potabilize the water or to to clean the water and maybe they, maybe they have a, a a a thing that you can achieve with this the the art project i know maybe apply to a world or something like that so i like to mix the the art world the with the the necessity of the of the community in a true way and in a, a in a, a way that can uh, uh, the production of the project but also the the 
the link between the artist and the people that is a link for life, you know, it's a, a, a connection that is for life. And I like to, because when you work in social things, it's impossible to close and go away, you know. Uh, you need, it's, it's a contract for life. Yeah, no, no, I, I really find the transparency that you're trying to to maintain uh, with the community. I find it so inspiring um, because it is really common to hear, um, especially within documentary photography, you know that the photographer usually just goes makes the work and then leaves and never you know hears back either from the community or the other way around so the fact that you that you keep that direct link with them is just fantastic um i i think i just have a final question uh what do you hope your audience and the viewers uh take from shine heroes i I think first uh, engage in the story and also have a reflection about um, because for this project uh, our strategy was to I know to to talk about a sad story in a fictional way to engage first the attention because now we are all the people with Netflix, with the social network, we are the news. So uh, first, uh, have a minute of attention to the sad story that all the people... For me now, uh, uh, documentary practice, when you have a true feeling to, to share a story or for, for some change in this situation, must be a, like a challenge of not only do the stories, you know, do also the after the story, how will be the, the, I know, the return for the community or something like that, because if you are working with news, it's impossible to, to, to have a, I know, a long process. Maybe if you're a documentary photography, do uh, something, a lot of, photographers and doing doing uh, i know collaborating with ngos collaborating with but uh, sometimes um, they don't use the fiction and for me uh, it's a fiction that is not it's not my it's a fiction of the group and the group wants to tell you so it's a, a, a legitimate or uh, a true um, a statement of the group saying we want to do to be this this person we want to be she uh, heroes we don't want to be the poor people that you point with your the finger in the street and say you are uh, the worst of the society so first uh, making a, a, a get the attention of the viewer but also get a I know a true uh, um, aspect of the how the group wants to show so and always the the newspapers the magazines sometimes uh, get only the the surface the stereotype of the people because if you want to sell something okay i have uh, three days let's go okay put this like a pa 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 and then you end like a uh you show the stereotype of the people okay you are a uh, poor people, okay? Put inside the along in a side of this uh, house. Uh, if you want to put mud in the in the in the cheap or something like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, but and sometimes the NGO photography. So in in uh, at the end, I want to the the person who see shiny heroes. Uh, make a reflection of how is the imaginary of the the social causes of the social problems that I think now we are in a post uh, photography era or we are in a in a in a Netflix uh, series of all the time talking about the end of the world. So if you see Netflix, all the the, the series are the end of the world the 
something with uh, uh, fiction. So uh, we must use these techniques that the, 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 the this kind of platforms or, or the the image the images of um, I, we must use this like uh, with social causes to get the attention and then to try to reflect or try to help because if I show the Shushanias uh, as a, only the surface, I will emphasize the discrimination act. So the fiction not only helps to have a, a group, a new image, but also engage with the photography art world, but also engage with the children, but also engage with the people who want the picture to have it in the in the in the house only because it's uh, uh, I know aesthetical. Uh, so, but uh, try to engage with social causes in a new uh, building a new narrative that could use fiction and could use a, a group uh, uh, approbation approval. To, to, to show this, you know, I, I like these kind of things that uh, I know the approval of the group uh, could be uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And, and, and the fact that you, you know, the way that you are portraying them or allow, allowing them to, to use a platform that you're enabling them is really, or in my view, um, making the, the viewers open up their their perception and their, their minds of, you know, uh, this different story um, that you're helping them portray. So I think it's, I think it's a fantastic project and it's really exciting to have you on format 21. So thank you very much for that amazing presentation. It was really insightful and just, it's, it's great to hear from you. So thank you very much. Thank you a lot. It's a pleasure to, to share this uh, knowledge from from Latin America and also to if, if I invite all the students, all the photographers to collaborate with social uh, problems. Could be a street, could be a corner, could be uh, first start small and then grow bigger, but uh, with an uh, uh, innovative uh, aesthetical way to uh, to show these causes or these uh, problems in, in your in your in your environment. So I think it's a it's a it's a good way and it's a pleasure I know to share it in, in format 2021. Excellent. Well thank you so much for your time today. Bye bye. Bye.